Hello, I'm Dr. Albright in the Salmo Plastic Surgery. What I wanted to do in this video is kind of supplement my other video on breast lift uh, surgery, uh, general overview, and you can find that on the same website you found this. Uh, what we're going to talk about now is an actual patient, okay, an actual case. Um, this patient here is a 39-year-old mother of two. Uh, she's finished having children. Uh, she wanted to feel more confident at the pool in her bathing suit and have kind of perkier breasts, uh, more youthful breasts after her pregnancies. Uh, in addition to this, she uh, did feel uncomfortable with breast implants uh, for volume and she was relatively happy with the volume of her breasts. We did decide to do some fat transfer uh, to increase a little bit, slightly, the volume of the breast and to improve overall contour, although it doesn't act like a breast implant. I can show you that later on why that's the case. So uh, first thing we want to do is, is look at where we're starting. So the before photos are across the top and the after photos are across the bottom. Um, first thing that we see on the uh, top uh, before photos, the patient is fairly uh, thin and that can be an issue for fat transfer and limit the amount of fat that we can can move to the breasts. Um, what we see right away is uh, she has some droopiness of the breast, okay, or what we call ptosis. So um, one of the things you can see is there's asymmetries between where the nipples are located on the breasts, so kind of like that. That may not be totally level, but you see this nipple is clearly lower than the other nipple, and it's lower on the lower pole of the breast. Uh, another thing that you can see is how much kind of redundancy that, that of skin that we have. So kind of where this starts folding, say it right here, to the bottom of the breast. Let's just do that again. And here where it's redundant to the bottom of the breast. So clearly that's smaller after surgery. The other thing I want to highlight here in this view is, is the overall shape of the breast. It's more like the breast is sliding down off the chest. It's more kind of bottom rounded and less cone shaped. So kind of following the contour here, something like that, okay. Over here though, post-operatively, it's more like a cone. So you get more projection. Here's out to the nipple and a nice kind of rounded bottom of the breast. Definitely more of a youthful shape there. Okay, and that's not an implant, that's just the breast lift and rearranging the breast tissue and getting rid of some of that excess skin, uh, as well as a little bit of fat grafting. One of the other things that I wanted to point out here too, and it'll show even better on the next slide, is how much lift we actually got out of the breast. So uh, right here you can see some other landmarks for her, so kind of the costal margin, uh, bottom part of the rib, that's skeletal, it's not going to change after surgery. And here we go, here's the bottom curve of the breast. Okay, now down here we're going to do that same kind of costal margin and now look at where the bottom of our breast is. So this distance is, is quite a bit bigger. Okay, and I'll show you again that in the next slide is even better. The other thing I wanted to point out here is kind of the way the, the nipple looks and the areola. So uh, on this areola, you have some kind of wrinkled skin. It's a little bit wider than we'd like. Um, and it doesn't really frame the nipple that well. So uh, after surgery, we did place a scar all the way around the areola and the nipples now in the center. We didn't touch the nipple itself. Um, but well, by doing this, it makes this uh, areola smoother, um, more youthful. There's less of that wrinkly skin. Um, and overall a nicer, tighter uh, shape, okay. So on the next slide, so this is where we can also measure how much lift we get. So this blue line is where the breast uh, actually connects to the chest wall, okay, and it frames the bottom of the breast footprint. Um, and you see from this line down to the bottom of the breast, that's how much of the breast is kind of falling in, uh, off of the breast uh, footprint. And that's what we define as, as uh, ptosis, uh, glandular ptosis. Um, and then also she has some nipple ptosis, meaning that the nipple here is even with that blue line, but on this side, it's well below that blue line. And we already identified that before, having that nipple below the line. 
in kind of in this lower pole of the breast. So we had too much skin there. So post-operatively, I tried to mimic where that blue line is here, okay? And we can see we have very little breast tissue that's below that line. In fact, you want some, you don't want no overlap there um, because one, that, that doesn't look as natural. And two, then you're gonna actually be able to start seeing the scar that's placed there. So she has a scar that runs across the bottom, this short little scar here, and then a scar around the areola. Okay, so that's the anchor scar. So having a little bit of uh, overview um, uh, of the breast tissue overhanging that, that line actually helps hide the scar. So dramatic, dramatic left. Okay. Now we were going to talk about what, how is this different than uh, an implant. So uh, typically an implant is much better at providing superior pulp fullness. Okay, so right up here. Um, that is uh, with the implant maintaining that space and that volume up there even when you're standing upright or on, on your back or on your side, whatever, that implant's going to still maintain its projection, okay? And it depends on the type of implant you have, round or anatomic shaped implant. So, um, she does not have a bulge here after surgery, okay? So it does not look like this, okay, with the nipple there, all right? So it's more of a, well, you can see it here, more of a teardrop shape. So that's the big difference uh, between having uh, the implant and just getting a breast lift. Now, I do focus on putting fat transfer here to try and smooth out that transition uh, and give a little more volume, uh, but it doesn't act quite the same way as, uh, as an implant. Um, she's uh, extremely satisfied. She's here four months after surgery, so the amount of fat graft that was going to take is uh, most likely have taken. So her volume should be fairly stable and her shape should be fairly stable at this point. Uh, so now we just have to focus on scar care uh, and uh, maintaining her longevity with her uh, lift. And in order to do that, uh, I do recommend that she wear support as much as she can um, because gravity wins, okay? So uh, satisfied patient, a great looking result, very natural. Um, and it should last her a, a good long time if she takes care of it. So um, if you would like to uh, find out more information about breast lift surgery, uh, feel free to read our on our website, www.alamoplasticsurgery.com under uh, surgical procedures and breast lift. Uh, if you'd like to reach us, you can contact us through the website or call our office uh, to schedule a visit. We'd be happy to talk to you. All right, thank you.